Danke. Guys. <lacht> Sorry, we're late. Oh, dog, it's fine. I had nothing better to do. Did you get it? You had nothing better to do? <laughs> Not reminiscing over today's game? Yeah. I didn't get to really play that much, so I think I'm good. What did you, how did you feel about it? I felt like, um, we fought hard. It was a good battle, but in the end, just the better team won. They were a better team? Today they were. I was kind of bummed. Yeah, me too. I have a question for you. I want to know how much the the crowd plays a part. How the, much do they play a part in the win? Uh, it's fun when, like this year, our program from uh, sophomores to all the way up to varsity, we've only lost one game. Mm -hmm. And the crowd is just in the varsity games to just get you going, especially that Maple Mountain game. And we won by when a uh, side blocked that extra point. Yeah. The crowd just meant a lot. It just played a big role. Like. Just getting us pumped up and cheering loud for us is just awesome. Oh, you weren't there at halftime when we actually did get pumped up. No. I, I could hear you guys, though, um, in the locker room. What was going on in that locker room? Um, Just a lot of thinking, cooling down, and then right before we came out, uh, uh, Cy, he hurt his shoulder in the game, but he just gave us a pep talk saying how, like, uh, he he's going to do it for us. He loves his team. And we have heart in this game, so he just gave us a speech. And then Bryce Nelson, too, one of the captains of this team, such a good leader to us. He gave us a pep talk and just saying how we got to do it. We just got to come out. And then our defensive line coach, Coach Murdoch, a couple weeks ago when we were, in, we were about to verse Murray, he said, um, Red Devil program, we win football games. And that's what we just do. Red Devil football, we're going to win football games. And they just said, what do we do? And we all screamed, we win like six times. And just got us pumped up. Playing at Rice Eccles Stadium is just a different atmosphere. Uh, like, um, sometimes it could just get in the players' heads. Like, just with the big crowd and fans cheering and stuff. Just to, just could just give you a different emotion. What What's the carry-on from this? What are we going to do now? Um, I don't know. Just let's ask funny questions or something like that. All right, I have a funny question for you. Okay. What color is your toothbrush? My toothbrush is white, and it's electrical. Wow. Yeah. You one of those electrical ones? Yeah, because I had braces, and my orthodontist gave it for me for free, and it still works. So I'm like, yeah, let's just go for it. That's awesome. Yeah. Good hygiene. Yeah, good hygiene. The girls love it. <laughs> yeah, they do. So you guys are still pumped up for next year? I'm still pumped up. I won't be here, but I am still that voice saying championship. I want a championship so bad, and I'll still be a part of it, even if I'm out of the school. Yeah, once you graduate, once a Red Devil, you're always a Red Devil. That's just Red Devil pride right there. If you could give a pep talk to the people on your team, what would you say right now? I would say um, we worked hard all season. Started in January, we were up early mornings, and uh, our, we had made it a goal to make it to Rice Cycle Stadium, and we did it. We fought as a team, we won as a team, we lost as a team, and we battled as a team. So let's just keep our heads up high and we had a good season. And everyone who has been a part of this season, fans, parents, coaches, teammates, will remember this season as one of the best seasons in Springfield football history. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel motivated. I feel motivated too, actually. Really? I feel like I could go run bleachers right now, dude. What was the most difficult part of preparing in football? <laughs> Probably, I, I came off an injury this year, but I hurt my foot, and just getting back in the move of it, just coming back that first week in conditioning and stuff, it really killed me, but I'm glad I got back to it. I missed it every second yeah. I was out. So if you missed it, what is it that you love about football? Just, they're so, like, you, they don't have a limit of how much people can play football. Anyone can play football. It's just awesome, because we all come together as a team bond and we practice and we just blood sweat and tears go into it. I just love it so much. Is the family relationship type thing going to continue after? Yeah I think it will because we made bonds ever since like January and it's gone till mid-November. That's 11 and a half months so. Wow that's a lot of time together. What are the bonds like? Can you explain it? The bonds are just it's hard to explain but like it feels like your brothers. You 
fight together, you bond together, you laugh together, you get in fights with each other, just trying to compete and compete every single day. Hmm. That is one of the coolest things I've ever heard. It's pretty awesome. Football is such a great sport. Wow. Maybe I can play in the past. You should have played in. <laughs> oh, man. We always need that funny gun, so that's, <laughs> that's what my brother was for. <laughs> well, Riker, I want to tell you, you guys did an amazing job. And I was happy to come along with the thing, on the journey, because yeah. I had a blast. Yeah, I saw you filming all the games and yeah. stuff. It's back that way. You passed it? Yeah, I live in the ghetto, so. Is that what you call this place? Yeah. It's a it's pretty like, nice place. Though. There's the. It's pretty nice, but then there's the power plant over there, so sometimes it can smell pretty bad. Smell pretty bad around here. Yeah. Who do you blame it on? The dad. Dad. I, I usually blame it on my brother. Really? But he's gone in Peru, so I can't really blame on him anymore. Oh. Yeah. You miss him probably. Yeah, I do miss him sometimes, but just Tegan. You know Tegan, dude. He's yeah. awesome. Well, this is a drop-off zone. Well. Thank you. You take care of yourself, okay? I will. Keep I will. working hard because that made my year fun. Yeah, made my sophomore year fun too. Peace out. What you said? Once a devil, always a devil? Yeah! I feel so motivated right now. Man.